Covering all things Lego, from Minneapolis to Fiverton and Lego cities beyond, it's Bricking News. What is up, Lego fans? Welcome back. Alex here. And I'm Jason, and we are going to ask Alex for August. August Ask Alex. Yes. Hey, that's that's the triple A. A-A-A. It's the A-A. <laughs> Welcome to the A-A, A-A meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Hey, am I in the right place? Wait, hold on. Am I in the we, right place? We yeah. drive people to drinking. <laughs> Ask Alex. <laughs> That's right. Yes. This is driving me to drinking. This is crazy. Uh, we have, there's a lot here. I'm so surprised at the amount of questions. Every week he tells, <laughs> or every time in. we film this, he's like, that many? There's that yep. many? There, how, I'm not, I don't feel like, okay, whatever. And the it's, part that makes me laugh is a lot of them are repeat people. Like we get the same people every oh, month. Oh, fantastic. And I love that. Yeah, it's great. So that means we're engaging people. We are engaging. Yes. I love so, it. All right. We're this time we're going to do something different. Alex is going to read the names, and then I'll read the question, and then we'll talk about it. He's probably know he's probably knows something I don't. I don't. Like I don't. Names in here that are no. like going to make me say something weird. No, I don't think. All so. right. Um, looking at these, why do they all have weird numbers behind them? Do I have to say the numbers? So too? that's the thing we talked about this before. YouTube changed to handles. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it changed people's names to handles. So for example, who is it? MG is now MG MG three thousand. <laughs> They gotta get a handle on these handles. Ah, yeah. Well, we just lost the audience. All right, let's do, let's do this thing. So this is August. Ask Alex. Yes. And um, I, okay, so I got to read this one right here. So you just read the by. first okay. question. Well, this is easy enough. This is at Tech Elliot. And the question is, Android or iPhone, and Windows or Mac. <laughs> Well, I thought this was going to be a short video. Oh, wait. Okay. Should we just say, like, okay, well, this is pretty easy. I, I think it's actually, it's funny because we've got different answers. We do, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm an Android user. And I have an iPhone. Yeah. And I I have a Mac. Yep. And, and, I and have, you have a I PC? Have a PC at home. Windows, yeah. Now, I'm, I, I don't have any problem with PCs. I, that's what yeah, I use at work. it's crazy. Some people go crazy over this. Like, oh, iPhones are better. No, so, yeah. Androids are better. Um, I heard a rumor, though. Uh, that iPhones are going to USB-C. Have you heard well, this? Well, that's because uh, I heard this, what, about a year and a half ago. Europe, they are mm. upset because yeah, you got to have EU. different cords. Yeah, it was so the they're requiring. That was, like, freaking out about it. So. And I... I... I, I kind of think I think it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, but should the government be telling you no, that? No, probably I mean, not. That's, that's that's the only issue I have with thing, it. Here's the thing: like if every company, if everyone there has the same cord, way I see the benefit. Things. Yeah. I totally. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's just I'm not a big fan of people being forced. Yes. <laughs> That's, the, I guess, the issue I have. Like, Indeed. they don't have a, a... Do you have a plug for headphones? Yeah. I don't. So are they going to make me... You know, it's fine. Whatever. This is not a political both, show. Both fantastic devices. Yes. People have their preferences. Every, um, I will say this. Yeah. If you enjoy breaking news, every episode is filmed on Apple products because we use my iPhone. So... It's high tech here. True story. That's a good phone, actually. I like it. So, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, next question oh, is okay, from Zach Attack Productions, seventy four hundred. I know Zach. What's up, Zach? And the question is, what do you think about North America not getting new city creator, etc., sets until August first? Oh man, I, it's, a, it's a bunch of crap, man. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, so first off, I didn't realize that happened until I wanted the Creator Pirate Ship uh, whenever that came out a year or two back. Mm-hmm. And I saw people getting it in Europe. I'm like, well, well, well how'd you guys get this? And I'm going online. Mine doesn't come out until August or whatever it was. Yeah. And I was mad because I was trying to recollect pirate ships. And it's like, that's going to be a perfect starter set. It's 100 bucks, And I couldn't get it. I was like, this is, this is a total rip. And then I get these sets from, uh, from the LAN, a lot of mm-hmm. city sets. And it says that, okay, these are, uh, look at, they're coming out August 1st. And what happened? Something happened where I, I found out that somebody else had them or whatever the case might be. And um, and, I, and I asked the question in the line, like, hey, what's the deal with, I don't know what that happened, I can't remember, but mm-hmm. they said, oh, actually, if you change your country, you'll see that it's actually um, already released. And I'm like, yeah. why? Yeah. Why is this the case? So, I, I mean, obviously the Lego is, is made over there and we get it later, I get that. But it's, it's just interesting. And there's probably a reason, but yeah. it doesn't matter what the reason is. It's wrong. Well, it, it, to end. it happens occasionally because I've seen it with yeah, some Star right. Wars sets here and there. But I will say this. I would much more prefer that than region-specific sets. 
Mm. Like they've oh, had yeah. Chinese New Year yeah. sets that were only in Asia. Yes. You know, and I would rather at least came out in August than never came out. That's a good opposing opinion there because you're you're right. At least we get it eventually. Yeah. Or that but, happens with the gifts with purchase sometimes too. Oh yeah, yeah you're mm -hmm. right. You're absolutely man. But a two month gap, that's kind mm -hmm. of messed up. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I guess the official answer is um, what, what, what's the quote? Oh, there. What do you think? I don't like it. I think it's messed up. I think it's messed up. That's the official answer from me anyway. Anyway, yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, because like, okay, right now as we make this, it's not quite August yet, yes. right? So these, these, I've had these sets in my possession for like two months now, mm -hmm. and they're still not released. Well, I texted you last week though. So I texted him last week. I was at Cole's. They already have the modern art set. They've got all of these sets. The yeah, and, and there was the Batman sets August that first. were mm -hmm. finding the them. ones you had. You just did the review on. So, you did the review like so two yeah, days maybe, after. So maybe the stores are still getting them, just like land members are, and they're like, "Oh, I'm not gonna wait till August first. It's dumb. I'm just gonna put these on the shelves. No one's gonna know otherwise, right?" Yeah. But it's not like they're like UCS sets, right? Nothing like yeah. that. They're, these are like like you said, city sets or um, sub themes of other whatever. Oh. But yeah. Um, Okay, so, okay, there, there's your answer. we got to keep moving because okay. there's a lot of questions. So now we exactly. have a couple things. Oh, sorry. And these are coming from... Mardi Gras Man 23. Yes. That guy. He says, Alex has no interest in the art sets or the flower sets, so guess what Lego will send in the next <laughs> review? You're not wrong. <laughs> I just had to make sure you saw that one. I put... Hold on a second, though. i, I got to tell you, Mardi Gras Man. So they do, um, we do a survey at the beginning of the year, or I guess I should say at the end of the year for the next year. And we do put our primary uh, themes and then a secondary theme. So we have five categories as our primary and three as a secondary. Was um, stunts a primary or secondary? I don't, uh, oh, it was city sets. <laughs> yeah. And I put city as a primary because I have a city. I'm gonna probably change that <laughs> next year because that ended up being problematic. Um, but uh, what was my point with this? I had a point. <laughs> With this. I can't remember now, darn it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So change the, the, your priority? The, I was changing so the, the, um, the, what do you call that thing? The survey mm -hmm. um, also puts on there, what do you not want? And there is no limit to what you can cross out. <laughs> and so I was crossing out, and those were definitely things that I crossed out. But you know what? Who knows? They probably would do it anyway. The, despite well, let me ask you. Do you think you would have rather gotten a botanical set over a stunt set? You know what? That's a good question. And I'm, I'm forced to say, yes, I would have rather got a botanical than a stunts. I gave all the stunts away. Like, I can think of, other than that new modern art set, probably most of the art sets, Yeah. you know, I would have like I the way or some of I that would have found would be. a spot for those. Absolutely, oh. you're right. You know what? So I'm going to probably change that. I'll take some art sets. The Spider-Man one that's coming out, and I think they've got some Batman ones coming out. Yeah, I wouldn't, I'll put those on the wall. I got some yeah. wall space available now in the office, so why not? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I would definitely have preferred. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to get. I mean, there's the city is a very broad theme. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to get. So anyway, oh. that, great question. Was there more than one for well, me? Well, that, that, that was really more a statement. The question is, so here's the question <laughs> for you guys. Okay. When you guys say you don't have time, does that really mean you you <laughs> does that really mean that, or uh, you what don't do you like mean? messing with it, what do you mean or would you time? rather do something else? <laughs> I think saying I don't have time is like answering maybe. Just because you don't want to say no, it's okay to be honest. What was this in reference to? So there's lots of times where you're like, well, like for example, the lights that someone had asked about you wiring, and you're like, oh, I have, I just don't have time, or, you know, so, when we originally started oh, doing yeah, this, it's yeah. like, oh, I'm busy, I, I don't have time. I kind of felt like I'm pretty honest with that stuff. I just say, like, no, it's not going to happen. Wait, we have, we have breaking news. We have a, uh, we have a report on location from a true source. This is Jason on location. I have a witness. Mm -hmm. We have Mindy. Is Hi, it Miss Mindy Moo, I believe? Yes. Online? Yes. So the Mindy question, Moo. people want to know, does Alex really have time? Yes, yes, he has time. Well, he says he doesn't. Are you sure? Well, he has time. <laughs> he just has a lot of projects. Okay. But he has plenty of time. So there you get the real answer. <laughs> That's the kind of hard-hitting news you get on Breaking News. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> 
All right, thank you for that on location report. How do you respond? <laughs> you gotta be really careful with my answer right here. Just um, so you know, Alex had not seen or had no idea about this no video. Idea. He just saw the answer right now that was given, and now, I, what do you I, have to say for yourself? All I gotta say is, are we living in the same house, hon? Because <laughs> that is, uh, okay, so you, here, here's the deal. You find time for things that you want to do, right? Prioritizing time is tough. And there are projects that I want to do, and mm -hmm. there's things that are definitely secondary and things that I just are so distant, I can't even think about them right now. So maybe she's getting those confused. I don't know. Maybe I'm sleeping on the couch. We'll see. Uh, but um, I, I would respectively oh, disagree with most of that because it's all about the context here, right? We got to make sure we have the context right here. Anyway, sleep on the couch tonight. Um, Great. I have time for what I want to do. See yeah. how that you could do that? You could just yeah. answer like that. I have time for things that I want to do. Absolutely. This is there's, why you don't have time. You talk too long. That, there's things that you I talk have to too do. long, so we don't have time. You're well, the one that tells me you talk too long. Getting What's time that? to sit down and do the video is one thing, right? It's, it I can know. be a challenge. I know. That's actually where a lot of my time, I spend a lot of time putting the videos together. Yeah, yeah, there you go, man. One day I was editing, and then I took a break. And then it popped up a video you had just uploaded, and I watched that. And then by the end, I'm like, why am I listening to him again? <laughs> I've been listening to him for like two hours. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. It's all right. Yes. So, Maybe I should read books online. Like, you know, the... Like, the, the like phone books? Phone books, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like books on tape? Books. books on tape, but I read them out loud. Um, and uh, put people to sleep that way. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Thanks. Was that from Mardi Gras Man? That was Mardi Gras Man. Thanks for that. Hopefully that gives you an answer. I, it's probably not... All right, this is at Kenneth R-XO4KN. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. What's up, Kenneth? <laughs> I, I had to read that last time, by the way. So the question, I know the family is always important, Alex and Jason. Then work and play, as well as enjoy both of your positive and negative thoughts <laughs> on new and old Lego sets. I'm really happy you found Jason to do these videos with someone other than family. I think it does give a different yeah, dynamic, yeah, right? right? For sure. Mm -hmm. Um, like my wife, she hates doing them with me. She's like, <laughs> anyways, uh, anytime you see her, just know Thanks she doesn't want to do it. Yeah. Um, it's very enjoyable to see creative minds at work and ranting. They love your ranting. I can't wait for your next week's video. Thanks again, Alex and Jason, as I'm not pressuring you to put the light kit in. Just want to see a smile on your face <laughs> <laughs> when you put the light kit in the vehicles and buildings. Okay. So I'd like know. to point out, if we're talking in buildings... About the time, about the time and this is going to be tough, like, okay, i got to be careful what I say here, but about the time that this video comes out, I should have more bandwidth to do those projects. You'll be getting ready for brick slopes. Oh, gosh, you're right. I don't know. Ken, I'm doing my best here, man. Thanks for the, que thanks for the comment. All right. <laughs> That's good to hear. Okay, um, Rob Lyons 8360 We've got a couple things here. It rough? says, if I was going to build buildings like you guys, I would watch Tiago for tips on interiors. Yeah, Tiago's good. Do you good. watch Tiago? So here's the thing. I am subscribed to very few Lego YouTubers. And he didn't even subscribe to me. I'm subs what are you talking about? Of course I'm subscribed to you. I heard you didn't have time for that. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> no, I like Tiago. Um, he has... I could be wrong here, but he's focused more on reviews than he has because he used to do a lot of build technique videos back yeah. in the day, yeah. um, but not so much anymore. And uh, but regardless, he's a fantastic YouTuber and a great uh, member of the little community and a land member too. Yeah. yeah. Well, he used to be a designer. Yeah. He oh, worked yeah, for right, right. Yeah, he did. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I've one of my recent ones when I did the hot dog stand, mm -hmm. I actually built that off of a. Uh, design he used oh cool yeah so well, he's got great yeah, stuff he's got um, great stuff and, and that's the nice thing yeah. that you know it might have been three years ago but it's it's still good indeedy okay uh, his rock. second question is what are your day jobs i am a carpenter well that's cool see that's a cool job um when i talk about my job it puts people to sleep <laughs> what do you do <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to tell you he's afraid no, you'll fall asleep i'll tell you i'm a workforce manager yeah <sighs> Exactly. No, it's a contact center environment. I, I do their it's it's um I do their call volume forecasting, their agent scheduling, their performance reporting, and payroll recording. So you make sure they have the right amount of people working when they need them. Butts in seats. So when you call a contact center, we make sure that your call is handled in a reasonable amount of time. 
thank you for holding. But not have people there when you don't need that many, right? It's a balancing act. Yeah. And we're seasonal. We do Medicare enrollments. So right now we are ramping up our workforce. It's crazy in Q4, and then we ramp down, and I it is chaos. It's like herding cats. But So I, I will it. say, please do not include any Medicare questions and ask Alex. Call the number or whatever. No, we, yeah, we, I don't, we, we, we I don't know those. anything about Medicare. I know workforce management for Medicare He knows the Medicare where people workforce. can answer your call and when they can do it. Yes, yeah, so lots of spreadsheets, lots of numbers. I love numbers. I love working with numbers. I manage a small team of awesome people. They work really hard. They're all specialized. And uh, I've been doing that. I've been in contact centers for 22, 23 years now. Wow, that's a long time. A long time. Wow, I, I got to get checked mentally because that is... <laughs> It's crazy. Call um, center's a hard environment. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I was on the phone for seven the, the years. The phone is harder. I was on the sure. phone I've for seven that. years doing long. collections, customer service, Oof. all that stuff. I liked actually doing um, collections. I did that for Discover Card, the credit card company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did it for all levels. And I actually liked it. I found out that if you're not a jerk to people, if you're nice to people, um, it's kind of like the opposite thing of like, hey, go get your checkbook. You need to pay money right now. Blah, blah, blah. I found if you're just nice to people, they actually do want to pay you. And they'll actually, like, you end up having a good conversation when it's really kind of a negative environment uh, yeah. when you're doing collections. They but probably anyway. don't want to be there to start with. So. Yeah, well, first, it's hard yeah. to get a hold of people, first of all. Yeah. It's amazing if you actually get them on the phone. Like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. It's the card holder. Anyway, that's what I do. I am a... <laughs> can I talk now? You, can, you may go. <laughs> okay. I am now done, officially. <laughs> I am a business analyst... Uh, in the credit card division at a bank, so credit cards. It's very exciting as well. That is very exciting. <laughs> well, well, like, 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 what, what do you analyze? So, um, you know, I deal with people's card accounts. Um, you know, when they come in, I'll help set them up. I'll, if they're closing, I'll do that. Um, you know, all kinds of different maintenance, extending the dates on programs and different stuff like that. So we have desk jobs. And you're a carpenter, so yours is more interesting. You win. <laughs> Not that it's a competition, but um, it, when, when you talk about your job, saying that things about you, your job as a carpenter are probably more interesting than what we just described. So hopefully you're not asleep. Oh, sorry. I'm touching your, your laptop. Right. Okay, so we're at MGMG3000. I think this is just MG is what it used to be. MGMG3000. M-G-O-N-G. Oh, and it actually, that's funny. This one does cover that. Thanks for answering my question. I have no idea... If I'm going to show up as MG or as MG MG 3000, <laughs> the answer is MG MG 3000. I think it's your handle. Mm. If you update that or I don't know, whatever. Whatever. Um, YouTube is full of surprises. Mm. I went back and watched your top five sets in 2022, Jason. <laughs> Remember we had that? Yeah. Someone had asked about the, the art did. set. Yep. Um, great picks. I also enjoyed Starry Night. Even though uh, parts of it were a bit tricky, probably the back I'm thinking is what we're probably referencing. Mm -hmm. um, that can uh, be kind of a fun set. I have a question for Alex, as he referenced his recent three-month stint with Twitch. Mm. Alex, how did you find the experience overall? I never watched you live on Twitch, but I did see some of your VODs, oh, video on demand, um, and recaps on YouTube. Yeah. Looks like you were having fun there, just like you do here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoyed the experience. I love the interaction with LEGO fans. Uh, the three months I did it uh, were, were great. Um, however, it was hard to keep up with the schedule, with the demand of how many hours were expected of me. And I found out at the end of the three months, while I still wanted to do it, there was still that desire, uh, it was not conducive to raising a family, having a family. Because like what did their, they require of you? Uh, 20 hours a month for those three months. Uh, so I figured out if I can do two to three hours um, each. Three uh, times a week, three, right? Well, twice or a week twice is a what week. I was That's doing. Was, so three, it was like, oh, like three hours, three to four hours. Sometimes they went long, sometimes they went short. Um, but that was the goal. And, but I loved it. Um, but getting to, uh, to, get, sit, to sit down, build something, mm -hmm. and be charming uh, for two hours uh, and get my wife. Like, that's, that's the thing. Is like People wanted to see the family. People oh. wanted to see my wife. They didn't want to see my mug. Like, what am I going to do? I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put this piece here. And well, and it's hard to build and see the questions yeah, at the same time. Yeah, that was tough. But when Mindy was there, she just made it a lot better for everybody, yeah. especially me. Um, she made it a lot less stressful. She made it fun. She made it more interactive. Uh, she was silly. Uh, it was it was great. And we played off each other. Did you have any highlights too. from your Twitch time? 
Is there any moments that really stuck out as surprising? Um, what was really annoying is one time this guy came in <laughs> and just totally interrupted my Twitch stream with ice cream. I was like, what are you doing here? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> He's on his video. And what are you and Wendy are talking about? We're talking about ice cream flavors. Yeah, and uh, I, she was talking about like fish food. Like what the heck is Ben and Jerry's food? ice cream. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And we were talking about ice cream for a while as we were building the construction site. And then all of a sudden, the corner of my eye, I'm like, uh, what, what? I know this guy. <laughs> he comes in with telling his wife with ice cream. Like, he went to the store and bought ice cream. That was cool. That was fun. That was wild and crazy. Things I think, like that were fun. I think Mindy liked it because it was an excuse for her to leave because I then helped you Yeah, build. she got out of there and you finished up. We were like, oh, how do you, it was like the, the crane part. Like, yeah. how does this work? Oh, this, it was like the this, hardest part. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, this went downhill fast. That was but, fun. Uh, yeah, me and my wife are sitting here watching the stream, and yeah. I'm like, should we take him ice cream? She's like, you should. So, Glad you did. It was, it it was, was great. Fun. It was a good highlight, yeah. It was fun. No, the overall experience was good, um, but uh, when, when summer started, uh, it was really hard to, to commit to it. Um, so I was glad that the... Um, so would you say the... And this is, I guess, my interpretation of what you're saying, and you can tell me if this is correct or not. Sure. It sounds like you're saying you enjoy the live stream experience... The experience itself. ...in general. Yes. It was the d schedule demand the that was the problem. To get it, yeah, to be consistent, yeah. um, and it was always like, it, like it would be impossible to do it now. Like my Saturdays and my Wednesday nights, especially like I'm busy with family stuff. Um, yeah. See, I don't have time. See, like my Mindy was, I don't know what she's talking about <laughs> with with time. But anyway, no, I, I yeah, you're. I think you summed it up really okay. well there. And I mean, I still have my account. Um, I, I would still have to do it. Maybe when when things cool off and. Uh, um, I'm not so stressed with other demands in my life. Uh, we can get back into it, you know, but a lot of it has to do with uh, how my wife is doing. Uh, when I say like that, it's like, how busy is she? Like she started doing another job um, and uh, that's taken up a lot of her time and, but she loves it. So I'm like, you do the things that you love to do. And if you have time to do that stuff that I love to do with me, then that's great. That's a bonus. So that's where I'm at. That's a great question. I like that. All right, so next we've got... Oh, Brick HQ. Hey, speaking of Twitch, uh, he was on, uh, he was he watched a lot. Yeah, he yeah, come I had a lot a of bit. interaction with Brick HQ. So yeah, okay, go ahead. So the question is, do land members tell Lego that some prices on sets are too much? Many people in the community feel that way. And then he says, a day in the life of a minifig could work well with a point of view of a car driving through the city. Awesome episode. Oh, thank you. So two-part question, right? Mm -hmm. So first off, um, yeah, we tell them all the time that their prices are too high. Do they listen? I don't know. Uh, so whenever we do a review, and it doesn't have to be a review of a set. We can, we can do a report whenever the heck we want. And we can say whatever we want to them. It can be, and we cat categorize the report. Like this is just like what people are saying a lot in general. And they say your prices are too high. And I have said that in multiple reviews of mine. Um, because I, they want to know what I say, and they also want to know what is your audience saying about this. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't know how much they pay attention to that, but they say that you have to have these reports in. I'm like, all right, so I'm guessing you look at these. So I put in my, honestly, there's a scale, like a, uh, a zero to 10, 10 being the best, and what are your general impressions about it from you and your community, and that's your opportunity to kind of say, um, you know, it's great, I liked it, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a lot of people are saying it's too expensive and they won't buy it because of that. Yeah. So, uh, and, and I'll say that too, like I probably wouldn't have bought this myself, you know, um, but, uh, but yeah, we're honest in those reviews. We have to be honest. And I think that's kind of like a, um, I, I don't know, there, a lot of people feel like, like I, I was told by my trainer, we have a, like a, a person that's your buddy uh, when you first get on the land that kind of shows you the ropes. And um, I was uh, uh, with Anna, Anna, the brick blogger. She's amazing. She was the first uh, female land member. Oh, okay. really cool and man, she's really smart she does so many reports and she says that look in the land um, there's a lot of people outside the land that are willing to do Legos bidding like they are going to do whatever they got to do to become to get into the land and I thought well um, that's true I think what she's saying is true mm -hmm. but I, I also I'm not going to be all like um, yeah Lego whatever you want um, I'll say this is a great set no matter what the price tag is and I, I'm, I try to be nice in my reviews um, but also try to be honest with, with what I'm reviewing. Uh, but yeah, I, I've said that many times about the prices. Uh, don't know if it's going to do any good, uh, if they're going to listen to us. And I don't know what other land members are saying, uh, if they're saying that in their reviews either. Uh, but I'm relatively new. I've only been in it for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm not a greenie anymore. There's people that are just, they, every six months they, they do it, right? They yeah. have more people. people. People are leaving all the time. It's a revolving door. Um, but I think there's generally about 350 land members okay. in, in the in the, uh, the, the the world. Um, anyway, I talked a lot there. Sorry. Uh, great question. And the second part is a day in the life uh, I think would work well. And I've been thinking about that, how I'm going to do it. So I'm, I'm actually... Uh, putting those together in my mind on how they would work realistically. So I think that's something that we'll look forward to doing, actually. So, yeah, great, great. question, Brick HQ. Thank you. All right, next. The Great Jim Bob. Alex, for the LDS Temple interior, huh. have you considered styling it like the Provo City Center or the Salt Lake Temple after renovation, hmm. uh, where most of the interior is in the basement mm -hmm. underground? And Jason, are you going to add a temple? Yeah, are you going to add a temple? Well, talk about your interior. Uh, I gotta go first. No, I'm not going to do an interior on it. Uh, but if I, I have been actually wanting to rebuild it uh, to a more narrow build, something that looks like more like the um, uh, like a Nauvoo temple or the Ochre Oker Mountain. Mountain. Yeah, probably that one because that one's closest to me, and I could go look at it and kind of get the the um, dimensions and things like that in real time, real life. Uh, but it would be really small inside though. Like yeah. it's already pretty small with how it is and it's big, uh, but to put an interior on it, uh, it would be tight. Um, yeah. Not saying I wouldn't, uh, but I think if I did rebuild the temple, I would probably um, try my best to do an interior on it. So there yeah. you go. Well, and I, he mentions in the basement, you know, that would be hard to do. I'm not doing a basement. The, yeah. That won't work unless I drill down into the wood. Yeah. <laughs> or I just make it taller. Anyway. You could super mills played everything. <sighs> yeah, Anyways. super mills. Uh, as far as if I'm going to add one, I got to come up with more space. I mean, I I've talked about getting one more row, but when the new modular comes out, then I'm out of space. So. Yeah, yeah, yours, yours um, is a little more restrictive than mine. We'll we'll see. At one point, maybe maybe I'll get a larger studio area, and then we'll who knows? Then nice. I won't have bricks to fill it. <laughs> so, Great all right. Question. Next up. All right, we got. Brickstar. No. That's Brickzar. No, it's Brickstar. Wait, hold on a second. That's Brickzar. What is Brickzar? <laughs> I could have sworn that said star. No. Okay, so your glasses so you guys, are over there. Just so you guys know, I am dyslexic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as the reason why. Brickzar. Well you could have just said let's edit that, but we won't now. Oh. That's Alright, so Brickzar <laughs> um, says I want the castle and the markets. With the triple VIP points, I think he means double, I was thinking I would get one of them this week, but I can't get past the checkout price. I'm leaning towards the castle now that Alex said what he said, but I'll probably be looking back in 2032 thinking I should have bought the castle. Look, Jabo, the castle is phenomenal. Uh, the only thing bad about it, the only thing I could think of that's negative about it is the fact that it doesn't have like a throne room. There's, that, that seems to be missing from it. Other than that, it is jam-packed. Well, it, it has a throne room. <laughs> it's, it's got a throne. <laughs> just not the king's but just throne. just the throne that you want to be sitting on when you're not feeling well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. But, man, the, the many things that come with it, uh, and I guess people are complaining there's no king, right? That, yeah. That's another complaint, sure. But 21, 21 minifigs, I think, are mm -hmm. in it, thing, right? Yeah. Uh, man, it's a great set. And I think, um, I know I would lament uh, if I never picked it up, and um, so I know, it sounds like a sales pitch. I know if you don't get into this, then you're going to regret it, you know. Uh, but no, it, it's a great castle, um, and, and it's so cool because like it's got so many fun details inside and nostalgic areas uh, and callbacks to the Forest Men and and uh, just the great era of, of when Castle was at its prime with with uh, with Lego. Yeah, the great yellow box. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. So thanks for that question. Was that? That was it. Yeah, back, well, maybe in 2032 it'll still be available. I don't know, Lego does some weird things with their, their runs these days. So. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Brick Star. And you're a Brick Star to us. Yeah, ah! Brick Star. <laughs> you know what, it could have been, yeah, never mind, let's move on. <laughs> okay. All right, ready for the next one? Let's see if yep. I can mess this one up. Uh, Janet's 3094. Question for Alex concerning LAN. Does Ooh, LAN question. give you a choice as to what set or sets you would like to receive for a particular month, or do they come as a surprise? <laughs> Can you decline receiving a set or sets for a particular month? 
Being able to make these choices might alleviate the stress you feel on the time and space, or dare I say, you could quit LAN and buy only what you want. Yeah, very good points, very good question. And there's so many things I wanna say here, but it's gonna take me an hour to say it all. And, uh, and I, okay, well, okay, let's see if I can sum this up. Um, yes and no to the first kind of question is that we, um, we say what theme we want mm -hmm. uh, primarily, but we don't choose what sets we get. Uh, most of the time, we don't know what the heck those sets are. They'll say, hey, you have been selected to review set number blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And you can search those online and see if they exist yet, but most of the time they don't. So you don't know what you're getting, but you just know the theme and the set numbers. So you're like, well, if you come to me, I know the leaks and I generally can tell you the sets in advance what they are. <laughs> well, that's just the thing is that I, ser I search the heck out of them and you don't find, and I don't okay. find anything. Uh, that's the I, thing I find funny and I, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't no, mean to interrupt, but I see lots of videos where they're like, you know, it, it'll be like in January. And they'll be like, okay, so we've got set 76521, and it's going to be, you know, whatever spaceship. Or, you know, like they already yeah. know, and it's going to be yeah. this much money, but they don't have a picture or anything right. like that. But they know it's going to be, mm -hmm. I don't know, the, the yeah. like they, they knew the, we haven't seen it officially, but we, and we've joked about it, the yeah. UCS Venator is coming out. Mm -hmm. And there's a set number, and they've talked about a few figures, and it's been, I don't know, six months I've heard about this. So I'll share this with so you guys. So it's funny. When, when I've looked at those, and I've seen those for a number of land sets um, that I received, and I'll, I'll look up the set number, and there's information about it. We believe this is going to be, and that was, uh, that was actually the situation with um, the uh, El Dorado. No, oh, not really? El Dorado. The, yeah, El Dorado Fortress. Okay. Uh, they said it's going to be a new fortress. It's going to be this much money. No images. Nothing out there except for this hearsay on a rumor. And sure enough, they were right. Mm -hmm. and, and it's been that way for multiple sets, like at yeah. least four or five sets in my experience that I'm like, oh, wow. And so I'll use that information and realize, like, oh, that's actually pretty credible. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will say yay or nay because of that. Now, I have re I have declined a lot of sets, you guys. Uh, I, and so you don't think like, I'm just not like, oh yeah, I'll take everything you guys are sending me. It is not like that. I have declined so many sets like that shield, the Captain America shield. Oh yeah, yeah. I declined that. And the big reason on top of some of these is because they're already announced and there's sets that are like, I hate to say it, but they're crap. Like they're, they're absolute garbage sets. I'm like, I don't want this. Why, why, are you, why would you even, I, I can't even fathom um, like a, a big YouTuber reviewing the, the little Ant-Man minifigure, mm -hmm. like the, the, the buildable one. The buildable one. I'm like, this is, this is like a $30 set. It has no like, it's not amazing. So when I think of land set, land reviews, I think of amazing sets, big sets, cool sets. Um, what also I will, I will add to my, my uh, rant, I guess, <laughs> is that what bugs me about it is that they will send you in one email and it's always that offer. And it, the offer could be one set or it could be as many as 13 actually. Wow. And I went, oh my gosh. And, they're, and I, so I, when I got the offer for 13 city sets, I was going through them and sure enough, I found pictures of them and I wanted a lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they were the, the Arctic sets. Oh, so yeah, these yeah. are really cool. But a lot of them, I'm like, I don't really care for that one. So I said yes, because I wanted about half of them. Um, so I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I'm happy I got the sets that I did, because I, I really liked them. But the other side, I'm like, I got these sets that I care to have. Yeah. So I really wish LEGO would just do, when they give you an offer, they just, here's one set number, instead of 13, yes or no. Yeah. yeah. So that's one thing I've, I've noticed. Um, and I've also seen, so you do have to respond back within a day or two and say, uh, I declined this offer, and then they don't send it to you, and then you move on your way. Do you feel a pressure to take them so that you don't get excluded next time? No, I don't feel pressure like okay. that at all. I feel like they're giving me too much. Like, what's okay. interesting is that there's t a tier one and a tier two level. I'm a tier one, I'm new, right? The tier twos have more opportunities, okay? So they say tier ones only get 10 offers a year. I don't know what that means, but it is not applicable to me because I have got w so many more than that. And it's not even like halfway through the year, I'm like way over that limit. And I thought that like, well, I'm going to decline these offers because I want to make sure I'm getting like the, the modular. I don't want to miss out on that. Uh, oh, and speaking, you said surprises. So yeah, we always know what's coming except for one day yeah. I get this box and it's the jazz club modular. I, I didn't think I was getting it. I didn't get any email, but I got it. It just showed up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, 
oh, cool. So that was my surprise. I was like, yeah, yeah all right. I didn't know this. I was getting this. Um, but I was still obligated to do the review, right? There, there's, if you get the set, you're obligated to do the review, do a review on, or the, um, the report on it, et cetera. So was that all? Was that everything? I think so. Yes. But no, I have, I've declined a lot. A, a lot. Uh, especially, and actually, uh, just recently too, I was like, this is too much. Like all of those new Marvel sets, mm -hmm. they were going to send me all of them. I was like, no, <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. So this is, August is my break month because I need to do brick slopes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Next. Next one. Ooh, this is a, okay. Man E names 77 RP2SF. Is that <laughs> like supposed to be many names maybe? Many or? names. Oh. You know who you are. Hmm. Question. There is another interesting channel who is building a city. Oh, cool. Brick World, or at Brick, Brick World Brick. Project. Do I? Do we know that one? Brick World? I don't know if I'm familiar with it. Should we take a look? Let's take a look. Pull it up here. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Brick World Project. Brick World Projects. I can build anything with a set, with a brick. All right. You're Brick, just singing that because it's got uh, Jordy LaForge in it. LeVar Burton. Yep. What's it called again? I can't find uh, it. Brick World. Brick World. Brick. Brick World Project, I think it was. It's like the Manhattan Project. They get a lot of Brick World. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh, uh, sounds like German. Country. Uh, somewhere. Sounds like Deutschland. Yeah, oh, is that it? Looks it? like it is German. So, I mean, it looks cool. Looks very detailed. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Lights, light kits. Oh. Wow, trains, heavy on the trains. Yeah. That's a good thing, though. Ooh, I like you that. You can definitely feel the European vibe mm -hmm. in that city. Mm -hmm. So many bricks to do that. So many bricks. Just to make... He did the brick-built roads in that. That's incredible. Yeah. See, the, these things, I, I don't know... They must have amazing access to pieces. And it ticks me off. I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, negative against that because that is fantastic. I mean, that's talent right mm -hmm. there. Absolute talent. But, man, can you imagine if we got access to these types of pieces in the bulk that they get yeah. in Europe... Our cities would look very different, very in a good way, though. So one thing I will say, you know, I'm new to the U lug. Yes. That's one of the benefits of being a lug member, is they have the lug bulk. The b lug bulk. Yeah, I, I know. I and that I don't. Anyway. I don't. So okay, my deal with that is I want full control. I don't have control with the lug. Well, you pick what you buy. I know, you you, you don't necessarily pick. get to pick what's on the list right. of 100 parts. That, yeah. But there's got to be something out of the 100 you're going to well, buy. Well, sure, I get that, yeah. And that's a lot of right. bricks. And, no, that's a good selling point. I just, um, I'm, uh, not quite, I'm not quite there yet, man. That's fine. All right, what's next? All right, so next we've got... Brick Lover 225. What's up, Brick Lover? I've personally loved the art sets. And I have two, the, I have two of the Batman ones done so far with one more to go for my plans in my bedroom. And so that might be a 2024 project for me since I am quite behind on projects this year. Yeah, we know how that is. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, 2023 has uh, actually been a slow year for releases that interest me. Oh, oh and that's you. why I kept this. We kind of talked about this. Yeah. I was going to ask you if mm -hmm. you've found as many sets you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, definitely not as many this year. And I'm okay with that. I, I would rather it's a manageable number yes. I really want than... Yeah, it's actually a good uh, thing that there's not a lot of interest yeah. because, phew, coin. Whew. Space. Expensive. And space. Time. Space. But <laughs> Final Frontier. All right. We got J.W. Bo Bowl? Bowl. J.W. Bowl 1. Yeah. This was fun. Interesting question about art sets. My wife has zero interest in building, but she's a music teacher mm. and likes the jazz quartet. Nice. Okay. She got it and built it, and she's going to display it in her classroom. Nice. My 12-year-old daughter doesn't build Lego play sets, but loves the botanicals. Mm. Brickheads and architecture. Mm. Our family isn't into the art sets, but I got the Starry Night mm. and the Great Wave sets and loving building both of nice. them. Nice, yes. I appropriately 
have the great wave sitting behind my motorized lighthouse <laughs> right now. And finally, Star Wars and Star Trek coexist <laughs> wonderfully in our house and appreciate fans of either or both. Awesome. We don't really have a Star Trek and question, so I needed to make sure we, we got your very nice. Thank you. Your I dose of Star Trek. That's great. Thank you for that comment. All right, All next right. up. Now, hey. we've got some questions. Those were the ones that were on the Ask Alex segment, but I try to go back through and... If I miss your question, I apologize, but I try to gather all of them out of the comments. Okay, these are going to be so like bam, bam, bam. These are some out of the community commentary video. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. So this is from Brick Trains. He says, wait, did my wife and I just make another appearance? <laughs> great stuff, guys. Oswalds and tipper trucks. Hmm, what a combo. It is a combo, yeah. Yes, guys. in case you didn't realize, was Brick Trains in more than one video this month? Well, he last month, in, I guess. He was in three, wasn't he? He was in three. Mm-hmm. And then he was in last week's sponsor. He visited, uh, He's a new regular. He visited the uh, Four Palms Park in Minneapolis. That's right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. It's great to have him and the so, wife there. And, of course, a comment about Oswald. You know that's going to get read. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, next up. Oh, Dana Farron, 74. Hi, Dana. Hello. Good to hear from you. Oh, we hear from her a lot. It's great. Yeah, it is. Um, Keep it coming. Love the episode and the lit up city. Mm. This was the one that we saw uh, from over in Europe. That's what that Oh, one's yes, about. yes. So impressive. What if the Oswalds were to ride the tipper trucks? <laughs> yeah. So Ooh, I've, I, oh. there has been some comment about the Oswalds and the tipper trucks. First problem is one Oswald to every 10 tipper trucks or what? I don't know. Yeah, they the can't drive that little, Yeah, right. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's funny. He, actually, we do have something about that coming up later. We'll, oh, okay. we'll talk more about that. All right, we got Daniel Estes, 88. Hey, Alex, I am a huge San Francisco Giants fan. I, I am sorry to hear that. I am originally from NorCal. Okay. Even my elementary school's mascot was the awesome. Giants. Awesome. Every year, the sixth graders got to go to the Giants game. So cool. I was wondering how you became a Giants fan. Uh, from the Bay Area. I was born in Castro Valley. Uh, we lived in East Bay um, growing up. And uh, we were Giants fans, Niners fans, and um, Warriors fans uh, growing up. And we kept that. So it was funny. When we moved to California... Uh, when we moved to Utah from California, uh, my dad, he's a, a big Giants fan, and that's mostly why I am. Um, but he got one of those, um, he realized that he couldn't watch the Giants games in Utah at the time. This is back in <laughs> the early 90s. And so he bought one of those um, those massive a dish? satellite dishes <laughs> in the backyard just so he could watch Giants games. Wow. It was great. And he told us, you guys are so spoiled because you can watch these games live. It's amazing. And we loved it. So we grew up uh, watching the Giants games, and they were a horrible team my entire life. They had a little spat there in the early 2000s. Um, but I Well, the 90s like when they had, uh, what was that, 89, when they had Kevin Mitchell and Will Clark, oh, and they were in the and World Matt Series. Williams yeah. And uh, Robbie Thompson. That mm -hmm. was a great team. I, I, and what was sucky about that is that was before the wild card. And I remember when they, they won, I think it was 103 games. But the Dodgers had won yeah. 104, 105. Woo. Like, how do you win 100 plus games and not make the playoffs? It was so, uh, it was like awesome. an amazing. That's the team. word you're looking for. It was and so awesome. Make. How many World Series did the Dodgers win? Uh, well, who won more recently? <laughs> nice rebuttal. Uh, the Giants are still ahead of you guys, just so you know. You guys have lost a lot of World Series, I've noticed. You guys make it to the dance a lot. Recently they do. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's kind of a struggle, uh, kind of stealing the deal, I've noticed. But anyway, no, I mean, hey, look, it, it's uh, baseball's fun. But yeah, that's that's uh, uh, it's been great in the 2010. I went I went to San Francisco when they won the 2010 World Series. Uh, and we, Did you uh, go to the World Series? No, I didn't go to the World Series. You no. went to the parade. But we, I told, we were watching it. We did the parade. Yeah, I okay. told my dad, uh, we all made a, a deal. Like, okay, if they win the World Series, we're going out there to the parade. And they won the World Series. I called my dad. I'm like, well, they won. We're doing this. And we drove out, um, me and my brother and my brother-in-law. We drove out there. It was, it was awesome. It was fantastic. We were so sleep-deprived um, and had a great time out there partying. And then they won in 2012 and 2014. Yeah. And what a great, like, underrated dynasty. They were just like, they were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, they're an okay team right now, but uh, hey, they're above 500. If I'm not mistaken, speaking of the that team, uh, you know Buster Posey? Yes. He played for the minor league team. It was the Fresno Grizzlies, I think, at the time. Oh, okay. His last game was here in Salt Lake. In no the kidding. Minor league. Was I'm oh, pretty wow, sure because cool. I was there. Anyways. Yeah, he retired too early. 
I was so bummed when he retired. I was like, no. Anyway, uh, yeah, you got me talking about the Giants. So, yeah. So, uh, all right, you can you can turn the video back on now, Joey. <laughs> on, yeah, thanks, Joey. All right, where are we? Okay, HCMPQ. Yes. Where do you get the sick shirt at? Well, he's talking about the. Yeah. I that. believe we're talking about this shirt. This is our breaking news, breaking news. shirt. Uh, I ordered those. Actually, there's a video you can watch if you want to see when Alex learned about it. He didn't know they were coming. No idea. It was cool. It was, um, good, it was a good surprise. Yeah, I ordered those actually through Etsy. There's someone that I used to get. That's where I ordered the Wait, hoodies that I have for the yeah. Jason's yeah. Brickton 5. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Should we start offering merch for people? I guess we have to. I don't know. Yeah. It, Are it, people it's, even it's interested good. in our merch? I don't know if they would be. Merch, merch, merch. We're Let us find know. Out. We're find if out we get it. enough response, then maybe we can. Yeah, right. We'll find out at we'll Brick see. Slopes. You know, we're handing out like, I don't want this crap. <laughs> you know what? I gave a bunch of those stickers uh, to my, my nephews, and they loved it. They Did put they? it on their phones, and everything. They were, they were like, this is so cool. They're like, this will fix my broken case. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. They loved it, though. <laughs> nice. Oh, it works. Free advertising. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, brick, <laughs> brick star. <laughs> we got another right. brick star brick video star. question. All right, brick star. So the the brick star says, "May the Oswald Army catch the Tipper Truck Army." Then we can do a collaboration. So is this subtly? I, I put this because I wanted to ask you. Is this subtly his way of saying he knows I'm never going to catch him, so he doesn't have to worry about collabing well, with me? Well, maybe. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Was cool. He, he'd be like, "Oh, do it, man. Go, go for it." I, I think it's pretty cool because. The bigger your army gets, it, it shines a light on his unique collection as well. Yeah. Like, I don't have anything cool like that. I mean, I got a big city in the basement, but that's like one of uh, so many of one thing is kind of cool. What do you think about that, though? So, like, do you look at that and say, that's kind of... I go, like, because oh, I'll tell you, when I, when I go to the Lego store now, they still have the CMFs there, and I go, and someone always asks me, what one are you, what are you looking for? I'm like, Oswald. And they're Easy like, anyone else? I'm like, one. yeah, Oswald. I'm, they're like, oh. I'm like, yeah. And, and eventually it comes up. I'm like, oh, I have, you know, before it was like I have 40 or I have yeah. 80. Now it's I have 144. <laughs> and the, the face yeah. these people make. They're like, what There was a lady la the other day when I was there. <laughs> you could tell, like, I broke her brain. She could she's like, you want, want wait, you have 144? Well. Like figures? Yeah. Just Oswald? Yeah. Why? I'm like, why, why not? I said, because he's cool. But why? Like, why do you have so many? Like, she just couldn't grasp it. Yeah. So I wonder, do people think I'm just mentally sick? <laughs> well, they Is that, there a problem they think, with me? They, they look at your city behind you go, yeah, you well, got a problem. I, I, and I mean, let me rephrase. <laughs> when it comes specifically to the Oswald army, <laughs> do they think I'm mentally sick? Because people ask it, I'm like, I don't no, know. It's just, just it, like it's just like with any no hobby. one does it. Why it's not? With any hobby, like when I think of the tipper truck, that's really cool. I mean, I wouldn't do anything like that, but that's really cool to see. And uh, and what you're doing with the Oswald Army is it's cool, yeah. and you love it. It's fun. And uh, people say that I got the Lego hobby. Like well, I would never do that, but it's it's we're passionate about. It. We love it. It's yeah. fun. It's our our escape from the stresses of the real world. You know, so maybe that's what it's like for you. Yeah. But but you're an Oswald fan. Yeah. Well, right? and that's like like his thing. I think. And, and I could be wrong. I guess you can let us know in the comments if I misspeak. But I think I've heard him say that the reason he collects the tipper truck is he had that as a kid, right? And he, yeah, so he has that it. that nostalgic yeah. bond to right. it, right. you know. And Absolutely. I think when he was coming back to Lego is kind of when he's like, you know, because I think I heard him say somewhere he wanted to get two hundred. Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> mission yeah. accomplished like six times. Yeah. So, I don't that's know. That's good. Thanks, Brixar. Good stuff. Good, good comment. All right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Ot two zero one one Brucey. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> question for Alex. <laughs> oh, question. Okay. And that is, do you see your city ever getting too big? <laughs> he sees it every day. <laughs> every day, go down there. It is too big. <laughs> oh, what a juggling act. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's it's tough. Like I, I just added the Disney Castle, but I had to take something out. You know, that's kind of how it is right now. It's it's what I, it's what do I want to be to have in there the most. Um, I have some great thoughts in the distant future of moving my city to another location. Um, that's as far as I'll get, uh, but that would allow some more room. Um, but right now, I'm stuck with that L-shaped basement that is absolutely overflowing with the city and other sets around it. Is this where your 
announcing the Fiverton Minneapolis merger? Oh, the merger. <laughs> you know, when I was when I was a kid, like my best friend, uh, he had a city too. Uh, he got me into uh, music like Guns N' Roses and Metallica, and I got him into collecting Lego. Fair trade, right? And we always thought like it'd be so cool to merge our cities together, and that'd be cool. Like, oh man, that'd be the biggest city in the world. Like, whoa, <laughs> don't be wrong. Uh, maybe it was at the time. I don't know. Um, but the irony That's is that funny. eventually did. Because uh, he liquidated his his city and just gave all of his Lego to me, and and I sold a lot of it, but kept a lot of it, which is the reason why I have two airport shuttles. So you're saying when you quit, you're gonna give it away to someone? You know what? <laughs> Something's gotta give, right? What am I gonna do with that stuff? You can't take it with you. I'm you're gonna, gonna sell it for six thousand dollars. I already know. Six grand, yeah, for the airport shuttle. I'm sure. <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's, that will it's, never not be funny to me. Just so you know. <laughs> I know, because you keep bringing it up. I know, because I just it's, can't it's, believe it's it. Just, it's and it's not on there. So did someone actually buy it? Oh, I hope not. I, I hope not. All right, where are we, are we on this one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ah, la, la. Okay. Mooney. Oh, wait. Mooniac. 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 ZM. ZM. 1HQ. Yes. There Nailed it. Nailed it. Says you should hang up your Lego space sets above the city in the sky and put a disguised UFO at the airport. Okay, hold on. Uh, this is for you. I don't have an airport. Read so. this again. You should hang up your Lego space sets mm -hmm. above the city in the sky. Because you always talk about how you don't have space. You know that your... that is that is a viable solution. You're right. Uh, hanging up over the city, there's plenty of space in the sky, uh, but a disguised UFO <laughs> at the airport. Like a, a UFO landed and. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, get, I can probably put one, like, they're literally called UFOs, um, subspace theme from 1997, 98, thereabouts. Um, yeah, that could do that. Sure, why not? Um, I just put those all back into uh, storage. So um, there you go. But, oh, you know what? There is, oh, I can't talk about that right now. Never mind. It's, it was, it was a, a land set on its way that's going to go in the airport. It's going to be cool. Oh, wait. Secrets of the land. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, we go, we'll get back later. Hold on a think. I, I think it was... I think it was actually already announced. Anyway, I don't know. Whatever. There's a big plane coming. <laughs> it's it's hit. It's hit. <laughs> anyway, um, where are we at? You know, when my son. So you know, a lot of the Star Wars sets were my sons. Um, like oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Right. The X-wing and, and some of the other ones. Um, he had a Star Wars room, and I had the Lego sets hanging up from oh, the did? ceiling in there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Right on. Uh, right on. Anyway. So there you go. I got to do that. I'm just nervous that I'm not going to do a good job of like. I, I'm hang up the the up houses hanging around. Yeah. And I put the, the bat wing on the wall behind the city. See, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, you guys. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Kicking and screaming. Don't call me Shirley. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> okay. All right, Kenneth R X O four K N. I have a main question for my fellow favorite YouTubers. Oh, I wonder is that who that me? is. <laughs> or is it you? Okay. He says Alex and Jason's yes! Richard Five. It's us. Woo! They, that would have been this was gonna get awkward, I thought. <laughs> Oh, whoops. <laughs> what is your favorite or least favorite city slash town vehicle stud size? So the width, four, six, or eight. Please rant if you both <laughs> like. Now, this, I will say this was under the rant video. So oh, okay. Um, okay. I, I get worried for his health when, when there's too much ranting. But um, he says it's enjoying to, for everyone. I'm for glad it is. Rant. I'm happy to continue. What do you think about the size of the vehicles? All right, so what do we like the least? Our least favorite? Four, four six, six, and eight. eight. Okay, I think six is a great size, ideally. Eight's too big. Four is, well, it depends on the four. So you can take that crap that they were put, putting out in the late 90s and early 2000s, and they can take that and, I was going to say something bad, but they can bury it for all I care, because that was absolute garbage. I just cannot tell you how much how cheap and crappy those sets were. And they were all four stud. They came with like, it was, a, it was a vehicle, like a fire truck that had six, literally six pieces to it. I'm not mm. kidding. They were so pathetic and cheap. I'm like, wow, this is insane. And they didn't drop the prices. The prices probably went up a little bit. Um, so I would say it's not such, it's not just the, some of my favorite little cars are four studs, like yeah. the classic cars that are like super tiny that came with like those sets from the late 80s, like the shell stations. Yep. Man, they're so cool. They're nostalgic and I love them. Yep. Um, but uh, man, those ones can take a hike. That In came. my childhood, everything was four. There was no six yeah, or eight. Yeah, well, that's what we grew up with. And that's, right. that's why 
it was great, and then they ruined the four stud by doing that to them. Um, but the six studs is very ideal. And then they had six studs too uh, in the well later later on in the '90s, but they were like bigger, like uh, prisoner carrier um, kind of uh, vehicles. Yeah, yeah. I would have to say, as far as least favorite, because of the way the question is worded, favorite yeah. city slash town. Yes. My least favorite has to be eight, just because it doesn't fit. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah, I, mean, that's, I, I totally agree. They're great looking sets in great detail. And that's the problem. But not you know, in the some city. of them look not so much city. better. Like, yeah. isn't the James Bond car eight wide? Yes. And you know, as try as I might, it, number one, it looks awkward because every other car is tiny. Yeah. Oh yeah. And number two, it's riding <laughs> over the line on both sides. <laughs> I just put them in the city. I know. Deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think six is probably ideal. But, yeah. You know. There you go. Yeah. It's good. All right. All right, we're Next. almost there. Oh, Rosanna Ch Chambers. Rosanna Chambers. Nine six eight nine. Yep. Sorry, Alex. I like the cat. <laughs> I don't have a train, as I just don't have the space. Does the monorail take up less space? The monorail does take up less space than the traditional train set. However. It is incredibly hard to line up from station to station, depending on how you have it set up with like where it's turning and going. Um, I, I was when I first had my cities, like my first Lego cities on the floor of my bedroom as a kid. Um, I, my thing was I have to have it in a circle, right? It can't be just end to end. I had to give that up pretty quick. <laughs> uh, but the biggest challenge now in the city and setting it all up is lining up because. Um, sometimes it'll be four studs off one way or the other, whether it's short or misaligned or two studs. Mm -hmm. And it drives me crazy because I need it perfect this way to line up with a bridge or, or a road. And then where it connects to when it's in the, the downtown area or the residential area, it's misaligned. And it bugs me because I'm, I'm OCD with how symmetrical things are. Yeah. And that is why 40 bricks was such a heaven send because they have bricks like that that are like it's a track piece that's four studs. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that was perfect. It's exactly what I need. Because you can fill that gap. Exactly, man. So um, it's, it is easier, yes. Um, but it, it's the same challenge. Like, train, train trucks are that way, too. You know, they, they can get all kind of skiwampus, depending on how you're sitting. Thank so goodness that. for flex track. No comment. Flex track. Anyway, I already ranted about that. I know. They talked about it on the A Fool podcast. Did you see that? We, they I, talked about uh, our, our, yeah. our discussion. Anyways, well, so it, let me ask you this. Wrong. When you say it takes up less space, do you mean it's just the width of the track is less? Or do like the curves oh, the take curves up are, less? Yeah, the curves are, are much easier to work with. Because uh, that's they, the problem with the train, I find. It takes is it so takes, much it's space. It's so around, wide. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, there yes. goes three base plates for one turn. No, that is, that is what I mean. I mean, yeah, it is more narrow. Okay. And a lot of the track, can be, it's easy to put on a bridge. You cannot. Well, you can, but it's very difficult. Uh, to put the traditional train track as a, a bridge and, and raise it, or, or like and I, I did that sorta. It kind of works, but it's not designed to do that. So the uh, the airport shuttle is designed to be a bridge. They have bridge elements. Yeah. So and you have a lot of things that you can make it look like a bridge, and it's natural looking. It's supposed to be that way. So you can lift it up and go over roads and over things, generally speaking. And yeah. so it's it's more flexible in that regard. Not flex track. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thanks for that. Then we have one more question. Woo! Finally, we're there. Wow. Okay. Uh, Singinator. Singinator. Now, this is a question that came in just a couple days ago, but this is from our video in April. <laughs> just read it. On April 21st. <laughs> so this was the video where, uh, <laughs> um, remember, we discussed about the people that were uh, commenting on Jang Bricks. Videos, yeah, yeah, right? right. And he was talking about the really trolls negative. and that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talked about, you know, family friendly. Yes. So the question is, where can I find family unfriendly <laughs> Lego channel? <laughs> so I, I'm, I know they're out there. They're probably out. I, I don't I know, know any. I, but, but it, yeah, we're yeah. not going to be the ones to direct you there. No. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, that's a whole new line. They talk maybe about adult do, Lego. Maybe I should do a second. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> maybe I should do a second channel that's like... Um, uh, un family unfriendly. That would probably be a conflict of interest with the land, though, I'm guessing. But, uh, probably. But no, I, Lego I after dark. I can't be... Na <laughs> like, welcome to Lego after dark. <laughs> family unfriendly Lego channel. I'm sure they're out there. I mean, um, you know what? I, I will say this. Uh, one time I was watching a, uh, a video, 
and it was Lego. And I don't know, this was years and years ago. And then the dude just dropped the F-bomb. I was like, whoa, that was weird. Uh, okay, I guess uh, this isn't uh, your typical, like, family-friendly, safe, like, Lego joke. Because usually when you see Lego content, you're like, yeah, you, you let the kids watch and whatever. And that's what I like about our channels is that, yeah, you can let the family watch no matter who or what age. And you know it's going to be relative. Well, I don't know. We have our rants, but <laughs> well, but even about, but those but are just complaints. Friendly. They're it's not, just, you know. Yeah, right. But um, I don't know what you mean exactly by family unfriendly. If it's just like oh, uh, I think you know what it's meant. If it's <laughs> like anyway, um, we'll leave it at that. I don't know is my official, but you can probably. Hey, you know so, what? The internet's out there. Search it. Do you want to know a funny story? This is within know, the last. <laughs> you, I, you'll probably think this is funny. all right. It's Maybe right. you won't. So there's someone that I've seen a lot of their videos, and some people may know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But someone that they review a lot of, you know, Star Wars and regular Lego sets. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes they do some off-the-wall things. And they reviewed, it was a non, I, I don't know if it was a non-Lego or a secondary party that took Lego bricks and packaged yeah. them as a set. Yeah. It was, but it was basically a brick-built gentleman's club. <laughs> <laughs> a brothel? <laughs> well, it was, you know, the oh, dancing okay. and the poles and... The cage, they had the cage? <laughs> yeah, all, all kinds of stuff, you know. All right. Uh, glitter screens or whatever, I don't know. It was, I was like, this is really <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know a little bit too much about this. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I have now we know why he doesn't have time. <laughs> you know, I'm reminded about... Um, you know, the, the reason my temple is in my city. <laughs> this is, this is a weird back, segue. Okay. This is, this is going back when I was dating Mindy. And I, I sh she was looking at my city. And I had a club called Club X. <laughs> oh, God. And she didn't like Club X. And she's like, you need to get religion in your city. And hence, the temple was born. So that's why you have it. That's why I have it. Because Mindy told me I got to get religion in my city. Because I had Club X. That's you you should have just Club gone X. to... Uh... Bricks and minifigs and bought a custom Mormon missionary. <laughs> that would have been just, cheaper. That, I don't think bricks and minifigs existed back Probably then. Probably not. That was 18 years ago. Wow. 18 years ago. That's a long time. Wow. Because I've only been doing YouTube for 11 years, 10, 11 years. Hold on a second. 11 years. Yeah, 11 years. 11 years. Wow. Yeah. Happy anniversary to me. I think it was May. Yeah. Wow. What a great show. That was. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the Ask Alex. Wait, well, hold on a second. You didn't have any questions. Did there you have questions? There were lots of questions. Okay, good. I was like, they weren't directed towards you, though. Well, there was some. I there was. So. They asked me if I was going to put a temple in my city. That was oh, one. I guess so, yeah. There were some good ones. There were there. others. I don't know. There's... I'm just amazed at how many there are. That's incredible. Keep them coming. Yeah. Maybe. And again, uh, Star Trek and Oswald comments probably get read. And well, as I've always said, if I think it might make Alex feel bad, I'll read that, too. Yes, we wouldn't expect any less. Yes. Anyway, all right, are we done? Are we good? I think we are good. Don't forget, Brick Slope's coming up a couple Brick weeks slope, away. That's right. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll see you guys there, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Let us know if you're going to be there. Come find us. And, of course, uh, we have a sponsor for today. We, we always have a sponsor. We have to have a sponsor. Otherwise, we wouldn't be on here, right? That's right. So a huge That's how we our, keep the lights on. A huge thanks to our <laughs> sponsors. That's how we keep the light bricks on. <laughs> If I could just turn it on right now, that would have been oh, so that'd cool. that would have been so cool. But Maybe it will just kind of like, yeah. The camera's the remote, so I can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. It's right there. Yeah. Where's Tanya when you need her, right? I know. Jeez. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. This episode of Breaking News is brought to you by the Lego Grand Emporium. Whether you are looking for the finest housewares or clothing, you're sure to find it at the Grand Emporium. Fine china and dining, we have that too. And we even have toys for the little ones. So come on down to the Lego Grand Emporium. And don't forget, our Fiverton location is now open late. The Lego Grand Emporium. Locations in Minneapolis, Fiverton, and a city near you.